Welcome to another DIY video. Before calling the professional, maybe it's DIYable. This time, we are talking about how to make EV charging cable management easier. You will love what I am going to show you. There is no more tangled charging cable and no more dropping the charger to the ground accidentally. The design is so simple to use and your wife will be happy about it. If you have watched my videos before, you know we had the Nissan to leave. And I installed the 240 volt receptacle for the level 2 charger about 4 years ago to buy myself. You should check it out if you have not installed it for your electric vehicle. It's not too difficult at all. There's no need to hire any electrician. Using the mobile charger that comes with the vehicle, there's no need to rewire again when you switch from one EV manufacturer to another. Because NEMA 1450 is the standard. Just plug and play, check out that video if you are interested in that project. I will post the link in the description. We switched from Nissan to a Tesla Model 3, but because of the location of the charging port, I had to use extension cord. I bought this 15 feet 6 gauge extension cord from Amazon. If you read it on the internet, people who are religiously follow the building code will tell you extension cord is dangerous. Yes, indeed, it can be. I had bad experience with my central vac, and look at this extension cord, it melted the plastic. But there was a reason why it happened. I am going to show you how to avoid this. The main cause of the problem was the vibration of the central vac PVC pipe. To make sure that my 6 gauge extension cord does not have any movement, I am attaching it to the drywall using cable tie and screw. Secure it to the stud. For those areas don't have stud, use plastic anchors instead. The more anchor points you have, the better. For good practice, always use the level to mark the lines. This ensures you will have good quality results. Next, replace the 120 volt plug with the 240 volt NEMA 1450 adapter. You can get it from the Tesla official site. The plastic charger holder, you can get it from Amazon. It's a test for your measuring skills. If you have done it properly, you should have a perfect fit. Look at this, that's the good DIY quality I am talking about. Just plugging it in is not good enough. The reason for plastic meltdown on extension cord is because of arcing. This can be caused by bad contact or vibration. To prevent that from happening, I am using cable ties to mount the 6 gauge extension cord on the 2x6. It's not gonna move anywhere. I am adding a small piece of wood to hold the charging cable. See the space between the central vac PVC pipe and the cable? That's very important to eliminate any potential vibration issues. That is looking good. The idea is to run the cable from the 1450 receptacle to the back of the garage. Of course, I am using cable tie to secure the connection point. Mounting the charger horizontally is the best to show the Tesla logo. Any fanboys of Elon Musk would agree. Moving on to the back of the garage, I am mounting the charging cable to the wooden shelf. It's pretty much self-explanatory. I need some split wire loom for this area for additional protection. By the way, is there anyone who is interested in how I built this heavy duty garage shelves using 2x4s and 4x4s? It was done long time ago back in 2014. I did not have any video at that time. However, I did have some photos. Check out my blog for details. I will post the link in the description. Next, we are going to work on the cable retractor. But is this the right solution for you? If your car is parked in the same spot with the same orientation every single day, yes, this will work for you. However, if you have multiple electric vehicles sharing the same charger, you may have to do some modifications of what I am going to show you. 
Okay, I am focusing on single electric vehicle with fixed charging location. First, you have to buy this little gadget from Amazon. It's called Spring Balancer. This is usually used in the factory by the assembly line and it holds the tool suspended in the air. You only need very little effort to hold the tool. It's basically like weightless. I am installing an anchor point on my ceiling using wood screws to secure it to the stud. For serious DIY people, you should have some aircraft cables in your toolbox. The reason I said that is because it's the same cable that holds your garage door. You need to have some in case your garage door fails. I am using stainless steel instead of galvanized. Here, we are making a cable that is going to attach the spring balancer to the ceiling. The spring balancer would not work if you don't have the proper weight. I am using this 2.5 pounds fitness weight. I will show you later in the video why 2.5 pounds is needed. Next, magic wrap tape is used to wrap around the lower part of the Tesla charger. This tape does not have any adhesive, it just bonds to itself. It's one of my favorite items in my toolbox. Because the surface of the Tesla charger is too smooth, we need to have some grip. Wrap the fitness weight around the charger just like that. See, the magic tape works flawlessly. I am wrapping another zip tie on the charging cable for additional safety. In case the weight slides off from the charger, it won't hit the ground. Before showing you how the safety harness works, let's focus on getting the main part finished. This is the safety harness that I'm talking about. You only need to use minimal effort to move the charger. Look, I am using only one finger. To charge your car, you only need to pull the charger down just like that. No need to worry about dropping the charger to the ground accidentally. You may be wondering how high the tension is. Will the spring balancer damage the charging port? Let me show you. The tension is very low, honestly. With the weight balance it out, there is absolutely no problem. When the charging is completed, unlock the charging port and you can yank it out and let it hang in the air. This is the close-up shot for the charging process. It's so easy. Look at that. Going back to the question, why 2.5 pounds is needed? Let's use the digital scale to see how heavy this is. Alright, we got 3.3 .3 pounds. Let's convert it to kg for a sec. We got 1.5 kilogram. Look at the spring balancer. This particular model is designed for half a kilogram to 1.5 kilogram. We are right on the dot. This explains why 2.5 pounds is needed. The spring balancer works fine, but I had very bad experience with all this made in China crap. I am adding another safety cable above the spring balancer. In case it fails, the cable will hold the charger. Yes, you do need to unlock the quick release to use the charger and put it back on when you are done. I have to agree, this makes it more difficult for my wife. I would say it's optional. To show you the failure scenario, I disconnected the spring balancer. Now, the safety cable is holding the charger. You may ask, what if the fitness weight also fails at the same time? Alright, let's disconnect it too. Remember I had to zip tight on the charging cable? This will save the day. That is a very successful DIY project for electric vehicle. Give this a thumbs up if you think this video has some good information. 
my goal is to inspire more people into DIY. I hope this helps. You may also want to check out other videos on my channel. I am pretty sure you will love them. Remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.